One thing that's a very nice exercise for young people to do, to show you how briefly we've occupied the planet, is to take a sheet of paper and just draw out a line representing four and a half billion years, which is the amount of time the planet's been here. And we think life arose, what, 3.9 billion yeah, years 3 ago? 8, yeah. So draw, draw out 4.5 billion, divided into billions, and then uh, life arose very quickly, and then uh, take the last billion years, divide that into hundreds of millions, and then divide the last hundred of millions into tens of millions, and then take the last 10 millions, and then the last 10 million into one million, and the last one million. And you know what? Humans appear in the last pencil width of time. We're just a flash in the pan. We just appeared 150,000 years ago in Africa. So when you put it on a scale like that, you realize geologically, boy, we just are newcomers. We're an infant species. I think the, the, the important point about geology is you look at the Earth from the standpoint of very, very long periods of time. And what's going on now in terms of the change in the atmosphere is so unbelievably fast that in terms of geology, it wouldn't even register. We are altering the atmosphere with absolutely explosive speed. Of course, the Earth's been warmer, it's been colder, it's gone through. The, the Earth is in flux all the time, but over long periods of time. But now what humans have done in our explosive growth in numbers and technological power and just the demand for stuff, we've become a major force, altering the atmosphere, the Earth, the water uh, with explosive speed. And that's what makes the problem difficult.